So today we're going to be installing and activating three of the Avid Pro plugins. We'll be installing the Pro Compressor, Pro Expander, and the Pro Limiter. You'll see here I have already downloaded and unzipped the files for my system, which is Windows 8 in this case. And you'll see we have files for Pro Tools 10 and Pro Tools 11. Yes, these work in 11 right now. In this video, we'll just be installing the Pro Tools 11 versions. We'll start here with the Pro Compressor. We can double click or I'm just used to right clicking, so I'll right click and choose Run as Administrator and we'll install the Pro Compressor. Just click Next and we'll install. All right, so now the Pro Compressor has installed, so we can look at the log if you want and we'll just go ahead and click Finish. So now let's move on and we'll go ahead and install the Pro Expander. So you can double click. I'll just right click and choose Run as Administrator just because I'm used to doing that and we'll click Next and Install. All right, so now the Pro Expander is installed. Let's move on to the Pro Limiter. So this time I'll just double click our setup file and we'll click Next and Install. Okay, so now we have all three of our Pro plugins installed. We'll go ahead and finish. And now we'll check out the Pro Tools 11 plugin folder to make sure they were installed. So you'll see I'm in C, Program Files, Common Files, Avid, Audio, then Plugins. And right down here we can see our Pro Compressor, Pro Expander, and Pro Limiter have indeed been installed. And we can double click and look at the contents in the plugin folder if we want. So here are the factory presets. So now we need to authorize our plugins. And all three of these plugins are authorized with an iLock. So we'll open up the iLock license manager, go ahead and sign in, and we'll come up here to available. And we can see here that our licenses have already been deposited into our iLock account. So now we need to activate these licenses by placing them on an actual iLock. Now we can see that by the images to the side that these licenses can be placed on an iLock version one, the key style, or the new iLock version two. So let's go ahead and authorize the Pro Limiter. I'm just going to right click and choose Activate. This brings up a menu and lets us choose which iLock. I'm going to choose the iLock 2, which is named iLock 3, and we'll just click Activate. Then we get another menu letting us know exactly what we're doing. We'll go ahead and confirm and press OK. Operation is now in progress. Don't unplug your iLock. All right, so now that was successfully activated, we'll click OK and we'll move on to the other two licenses. Now I'm going to activate these two a little bit differently. I'm going to select the Pro Expander, then I'll just hold down Shift and click the Pro Compressor. Now I'm just going to click and hold and then drag these two licenses over to the iLock version 2, which is named iLock 3. And we'll release once we're over top of our selected iLock. Brings up the menu we had earlier and we'll confirm. Operation is now in progress. And there we go, successful activation of both of those licenses at one time. So now we'll check our iLock2 and we see that indeed the three licenses have been activated. So now we can close out our iLock license manager. And now we'll go ahead and launch Pro Tools 11 and take a look at these plugins. So we can double click, or I'm so used to right clicking and run as administrator. Now Pro Tools 11 is loading. Okay, so here's our quick start. We'll go ahead and create a blank session. We'll just name it Avid Pro Plugs. And here is our session. I can just double click here in a gray area and that will load me a stereo audio track. So now I'll come up to my inserts. I'll go to multi-channel mono and I actually want to change something first. I'll go here to setup and preferences, come to display, come down to where it says organize, plug in menu by, I'll choose category and manufacturer, click OK go back to our inserts and now you see we have a manufacturer's view along with our category view. So we come down to Avid and here are our three Pro plugins. So we'll just choose the Pro Compressor first and take a look at this. So the compressor is loading up just fine. This is actually a really, really nice interface. Everything seems to be working fine. Here are some included presets. All right, so now we'll move on and look at the Pro Expander. So here's the Pro Expander. It's very similar to the Pro Compressor as we can see, but down towards the bottom, you can see each plugin has the name right across the bottom of the plugin. So take a look at the Expander. Again, very nice interface, very well laid out. Everything seems to be working and properly activated. So now we'll pull up the Pro Limiter. It comes up just fine. Again, a very nice, well thought out interface. All of these plugins just look great and they're running here in Pro Tools 11. So this Pro Compressor is based around the Avid Channel Strip plugin, which emulates the Avid System 5 console. But the Pro Compressor plugin 
goes much, much further in features and what can be accomplished versus just using the channel strip. There are four advanced compression detectors. You have PPM monitoring, a queue with side chain control. You have the smart mode, really great options in this compressor. And the Pro Expander is also based on the Avid System 5 console that the Avid channel strip plugin is. But just like the compressor, the Pro Expander goes much, much further has a look ahead mode, upward mode for advanced expansion detectors, plus the smart mode like we have in the compressor, has a ducker, again a cue with side chain control, and that great PPM monitoring, plus a lot of other features. You really need to check these out for yourself to hear exactly how they sound. And the Pro Limiter is developed from the ground up and it lets you maximize the loudness of your mix in up to 7.1 surround. That is great. So some of the features that Avid lists are clean and transparent sound, a character knob, which adds soft saturation to get more loudness and a higher amount of gain reduction without the unwanted digital artifacts of your standard brick wall limiters. You have true peak limiting, full surround support as we mentioned, and many more features. So if you are interested in these plugins, and I highly suggest that you be interested in them, you can buy these right now from the Avid shop. You can go to avid.com to learn more. But if you want to try them before you buy, you can do that as well. You can go to avid.com, and there'll also be links in the description where you can learn more about each of these plugins, and you can actually get a free trial. So definitely check out that free trial and try these plugins and see exactly how they work for you. That's avid.com. Avid.com.